How can you increase your chances to collect all the rewards you're missing from Fastnacht Day? I'm about to show you how to farm the event all day long. Let's get started! Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. In this one, I will share my strategy to farm the seasonal event Fastnacht Day all hour long. For those not aware yet, the event got extended until February 25, so you have a few more days to farm as many events as you possibly want. Anyway, with the following strategy, you can do the event as many times as you want with no limits, which drastically increases your chances to loot the rewards you're still missing, including the three new rare masks, the Brahmin, Buffon, and the devil masks. Alright, without any further delays, let's get into action, shall we? Every fixed hour the Fastnacht day starts on public servers, so make sure to choose a highly populated one and start rushing the activities because, my friend, you want to finish the event as soon as possible. The sooner the better because your chances to find other active events are much higher if nothing slows you down. I know sometimes, despite your best efforts and attempts, delays can happen, such as robots getting stuck or out of their way, but if the event runs as intended and you rush everything, you should be done in about 10-12 minutes. Also, it's a great idea to carry on event items from previous runs, such as bee wax, stains, intestines and even wood. If you can instantly deliver such requirements, you don't have to waste time farming, which means you will finish faster. This only applies to the first event every hour, by the way. Okay, once you light the fire, you can skip the event rewards animations to go straight to the rewards list. Just select an item through your favorite bar and voila! In a few seconds, you can see if you got anything you have been hunting for. I recommend server jumping almost immediately after finishing the first event. You can either join a friend, which is the quickest way to do this, or you can go back to the main menu to join another server. Well, finding a second event is quite easy. People normally make mistakes, there are also lots of AFK players which can delay the event progress, and of course, there are lots of bugs. The second event is always easy to find in my experience, and it only requires one or two server jumps to do so. The best part is that the second event is usually about to end, so you hardly have to do anything but to be there and wait shortly for the event to end and collect your rewards. When that happens, do the same as before, quickly check your rewards with the favorites bar and server jump once again. The third time is usually the charm, but in this case it's more like a Pandora box. You might find it in public servers, but it's quite difficult. It doesn't happen that often. By the time you are ready for the third attempt, we are about 15 to 20 minutes into the hour and almost every event is now completed. If you don't find the third event right away, I suggest you to either check your private server, if you have one of course, or join a friend who does that's your best chance to find another event. If you don't have followed first or a lot of friends in your list, then, well, you should keep looking into public servers, but after 25 minutes in, it's pretty useless and a waste of time to do so. Remember, the event lasts a maximum of 30 minutes, so when you reach that point, public is a no-go anymore until the next fixed hour. Now, moving into the private world land, it's important to prepare yourself to basically solo the event. Keep in mind that Fastnacht starts kinda randomly there, not every fixed hour as it happens in public servers. Look at this example, I entered my private server at 1.19 and the event was with 8 minutes countdown, which means it popped at 1.17. That's surely not a fixed hour, right? It's really buggy there, but that's perfect to keep the farming going all hour long. Moving on, and in my experience, I either solo it or we are two to three players on a private server, which makes it a challenge to keep all five robots alive until the very end. 
when you're low on numbers. But don't worry, let me share some tips to make things more doable. First of all, make sure to have the friendly fire perk equipped and to have a weapon with a fire mod on your favorite spar for a quick swap. This way you can easily heal any damaged robots whenever necessary. Secondly, make sure to use your strongest weapons and third, use yourself as a meat shield when enemies are too close to the robots. If you follow these three quick rules, you should be good to go and you shouldn't encounter many problems. Considering you have an endgame build and you are above level 50, of course. I won't lie to you, without a long friend list and private servers, this strategy can't be fully done because even if you have your own private world, that doesn't mean you can always find the event active there. So having more people with private worlds in your list, which you can join, increases your chances to find an active event when they are long gone from public servers. Just to give you an idea, I usually do one to two events on private worlds after the public runs and then I'm back to stage one. In other words, you should be close to the next fixed hour by then. In average, I usually do three to six events per hour, but then again, it depends on a lot of factors, including if you have an alt account or not. Yeah, by alt account I mean another account besides your main one, not another character, because you cannot play several characters at once in one single account. If you happen to have access to a family or friends account, then you can easily double your farming efforts by having it online, just by that. I'm not promoting leeching in any way possible here, but let's be honest, there are bots farming this event for caps, legendary, and of course the rear masks to sell for in real life money, and we are talking about dozens and dozens of them, not just a few accounts. I actually received a report of someone using 8 accounts to farm, but he asked me not to share the screenshots, so you will have to take my word on this one. As such, I'm fairly sure that using one alt account won't hurt anyone or break any rules, really. In fact, if you feel bad about standing still at the event in a random server with your alt account, just join your main account, then you know for sure you are contributing and not simply leeching from other players. I think it's quite obvious that this step drastically increases your chances to get rare rewards. If you run the event on your private world, you can also join yourself for double rewards. Now, since you cannot play both accounts at once, I recommend you to stay away from the enemy spawns and in stealth mode to avoid dying. That's pretty much it. Having an alt account is really good to farm events, but you probably knew that already, didn't you? Well, once you are close to the fixed hour, you know what to do. Rinse and repeat. Anyway, I recommend you to go back to your camp shortly to collect some water, food, ammo, sleep, cure yourself from any diseases and so on. I usually end with 10-15 minutes left and that's what I do, but this step is totally up to you. You don't have to do that. Anyway, this is how I farm Fasna all hour long, as much as I want whenever I have the time to do so. With this strategy, you can basically farm the event dozens and dozens of times per day, when in reality the event only spawns once per hour per server. Getting the rear masks is extremely difficult, so I think this strategy can really help you achieve your goals with Fasna. The more times you complete the event, the higher is your chance to get what you are still missing. Of course, you need to rely on the RNG gods to roll the entries you want, but still, 100 events done, for example, are much better than 50 completed events. But then again, it's all about luck. I have done over 200 events since the event started this past Tuesday, and I didn't get a single new mask yet. So I know how tough things can get, trust me. But Marta, you're playing and posing with the Buffon mask. Yeah, I am, but I did not loot it. It was a gift from BHC Kaki. Thanks again, by the way. So yeah, in the end, all you have to do is keep trying and optimize your farming strategy as much as possible, which hopefully that's what I have done here with this guide. Optimize your farming methods. Before I conclude the video, I want to share some information on the rear masks drop rates to explain why they are so difficult to get. 
I know a lot of friends who have been farming all day long since Tuesday and they didn't get a single new mask yet. How is that even possible? Well, true bad luck. Or maybe I should say those who actually got the new masks are the lucky ones. Because speaking in realistic terms, the odds to get these masks are so low that it's quite normal not to roll any of them with a few hundred events completed. If you finish with all five robots alive every single time, your chance to hit the rear mask category is only 5%. That's pretty low already. And then this category includes eight masks, which means each one has a shocking 0.6% chance to drop. So yeah, it's almost like triggering the 0.09% chance to roll an unwielding recon armor piece from a mysterious pick. It's not impossible, but the chances for it to happen are so, so low that most players don't get to experience it. Anyway, the other mask categories get most of the drop chances, as to be expected, where common has almost 24%, and Uncommon wins with an astonishing 71% roll chance. So no wonder we keep rolling Common and Uncommon masks, because together they have a 95% roll chance. I hope now you understand why it's so difficult to get the new masks, and why players have been trading them for region outfits and even legacy weapons. It's because they are really rare right now and difficult to get. Plus, cheaters didn't get a chance to mass duplicate them yet, so their value is extremely high right now. Plus, the demand is way higher than the supply number, since it's a new rare item and most players want to put their hands on them. So right now, your best way to get such masks is by farming as much as possible or to ultimately trade something really expensive for one of them. Alright, that's how you can farm Fastnacht Day all day long, as many times as you want. All you need is time, patience and a lot of nerve to endure the dreadful music and the bugs. I even dreamt about it some nights ago, it's funny at first, but when you did 200 events, things quickly move from funny to disturbing. Anyway, I hope I helped you improve the way you farm these seasonal events and happy farming, as much as it can possibly be. Now it's time for me to say goodbye, I'm Marta Branco, thank you so much for watching, feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions or anything to add, and as usual, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this guide. Also, a huge thanks to all my lovely supporters, you guys are the best. Well then, I will see you all in the next video, until then, take care! Adios, bye bye!